Hello all. Uh, this is going to be a video uh, uh, relook at installing VMware Player uh, in Arch Linux, and I'm using the uh, repo CK uh, kernel, and uh, but it shouldn't make too much difference. Uh, just make sure you have certain things installed. So uh, we'll refer to the Arch Linux uh, documentation here. Uh, it says to make sure you have these installed, just uh, pacman, sudo pacman, dash cop, last fuse, gtk, mm, and Linux headers. So if you're just using plain Linux, it's just Linux headers and uh, another repository like Linux headers, uh, LTS long term support, or CK uh, modules, or whatever. But make sure you have these things, three things installed. And you download. The player so I, that's what I did here it gives you this link and uh, uh, for Linux it was uh, it's 135 I'm sorry 132.45 uh, megabytes to download and once you have that installed you can open up the folder where it's downloaded and uh, as root um, sh and then the name of the dot bundle you downloaded and these flags and here's a note here due to workstation 12 or whatever VMware player as well uh, taking advantage of mainline kernel modules patching these uh, VMI and VSOC source is no longer required and I felt bad because one user had problems and trying to patch something that you didn't need to and uh, VMware is weird uh, in a way that if you don't clear everything that you can find uh, pertaining to VMware after like trying to reinstall it sometimes it'll completely fail and, and just crash so basically all you have to do is just run this command and then you can put these arguments if you wish or you can use the GUI installer uh, and of course if you have VMware workstation and have a license you would put the license number in so it's not too uh, tricky to do, hopefully. <laughs> so that said, wherever you have it downloaded, uh, open a terminal in the folder you have it downloaded. And just for, uh, I'll go into super user, and just for, uh, to save time, I just copied everything from the uh, instructions here, and I'll just paste them into a terminal. And we'll see what happens here. Okay, so it's extracting and what you have to do is run, um, just tell it what directory, and it's exactly this. So you could actually copy this and then just paste it in. Same thing, and press enter. And you can see it's installing a VMware installer <laughs> and configuring and so on. And this takes a, a bit of time. All right, so once it's installed, um, it uh, instructs you that you have to run uh, etsy init.d vmware and then a command like stop, start, uh, maybe restart, or whatever, if you want to just run it manually. Basically, systemd can take care of that. That's on the in the documentation uh, here. Uh, if you want to create and enable two services, uh, but just for now, let's just. Uh, it might already be triggered, but uh, I'll get out of my uh, super user. Our root account and um, so etsy init dot d v m start and see what happens ah sorry sudo sorry about that okay and as you see everything's working there's nothing that failed so vmware should be wherever you're, if you have a start menu or a start whatever there's vmware player give that a second to run and VMware uh, Workstation um, free um, or VMware Player free. And if you want to put an email address, if you want, or just uh, know at thanks.net, <laughs> whatever you want to, if you want to be informed. Thank you for using VMware Workstation 12. And works they would just uh, skip this version for now
and press OK. So that's it. It, it seems to be uh, ready to go. So the usual, if you use this in Windows, you can uh, say I'll install the operating system later, next, pick a version, whatever. Say if you want to try out Windows 10 64 bit, there it is. And browse to where you want it. Uh, it defaults to your home folder. You put it on another hard drive or whatever. If you're using the solid state drive and don't have enough space, you might want to move it to another location. Just click next. You can always change that. Uh, maximum size 60 gigs. And finish. And you can close this little uh, wizard and say, don't show me this page again. And close. And then go to your edit virtual machine and for example I would use a 4096 at least for this maybe more uh, CPUs uh, if you have uh, a 6 core or 4 core you can use them uh, the hard drive uh, you can use an ISO image uh, I'm fine with the way the NAT the network adapter set up uh, sound card another thing I remove is uh, I just remove the printer USB 2.0 thank you share Bluetooth um, and display it will give me um, using a GTX 970 uh, GeForce NVIDIA and recommended maximum is one gig so it will pick up on your um, how much memory you have and suggest how much memory to use so in that case and you just save and then play virtual machine and so on okay so I hope that uh, clears a few things up and it's good until kernel 4.2 dash something wherever it went to it says it here VMware workstation 12 supports kernel up to 4.2 release candidate or RC all right so that should do it for this one and thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon and bye for now